the second part of the video, I will show you how to make a pattern brush out of the double helix that you just created. Let's first analyze the pattern that we need to create. Um, the, uh, so essentially, the backbone of our pattern will be this part that will be repeating uh, in the middle of it and then we will need uh, an open ending of the double helix. So I will need another half of the uh, helix over here at the end and then another part of the end over here. Okay, I will make a duplication of the helix so we can work on it and not worrying that we might uh, mess it up. Uh, we can always go back to our original helix. So I'll delete the uh, accessive parts so it will not interfere with our operation. Let's delete that part and this is all we need to create the pattern brush. So, um, so what we need to do is break it into three parts. The loose ends and the repetitive uh, helix. Here we will need to use the Pathfinder tool. By uh, first we draw, so first we draw a dividing line. I'll make it red so you can see it. I will duplicate uh, the line so we can use it again later. So, and then we select one unit with one line and use Pathfinder tool to divide it. Let's ungroup it so you can see now the uh, loose end is uh, cut off from the helix part. Okay, and let's do the same division at the four loose ends. Okay, um, I should move this part, the lighter part to the front. And uh, there's one thing that we need to work on is uh, we need to take this part of the uh, back helix off. So uh, if we don't do that, you will see, uh, I have an example here. So. Uh, one extra thing, okay, so now uh, we ha that we have divided it, let's group it into three units. So now we have it divided, let's group them into three components. Okay, that's good. But there's a little tricky thing that you can see is that there's a streak of line here. And um, it might show up later in our pattern brush and we don't want that. The reason there's a streak of line here is because we had the dark shape behind the light shape. So uh, what we need to do is to remove the dark shape that is covering up underneath here. Then we can remove the line. So I will quickly do that by um, using our Pathfinder tool. So um, I will duplicate this part and then put it right on top of the uh, same position and then go to minus front and you see now we only have the part that should be showing and let's do that to all the other parts I will copy it by command C and then command F then that will be pasted right on top then select both and then my 
minus front. So now you can see the streak of line has disappeared. So we can safely group these and we need to do the same practice over here. And uh, now you see the two lines have disappeared and so we can group everything. And before doing that, make sure all the light parts are at the front. And then we can group them. So now we're ready to create the pattern brush. Let's select the middle unit and then create a new brush, pattern brush. And uh, let's fix the auto generated overlap here. And then so these gaps are uh, filled. So click OK and let's test our brush. Let's make a curved one. Okay, and let's apply the pattern. Okay, it's quite big. Let's make it smaller. So uh, it looks fine until the end that we don't have the uh, loose ends that we want. So uh, we need to add that on. So I will show you how to do that. So let's open our swatches panel this is where you usually pick your colors from but there's a secret about swatches panel is that uh, it can also make swatches out of objects let's do that by dragging the object in and then you, you'll see and you'll see your object has become a swatch and let's make the other end as the same swatch over there and now we can go back and double click on the pattern brush and add on the ending of our pattern brush. And then click OK. And then apply to strokes. Yep, and you'll see the double helix that we created a little bit earlier now has the loose ends. Um, so now you can freely make your DNA in onto the path that suits your graphical abstract and you can even adjust the thickness of your double helix very easily by just adjusting the stroke size of your path and you can even create a circular DNA this case and let's make it smaller so this is the new technique that you can use to quickly create your DNA brush and I hope this can help you to uh, create your graphical abstract if you find this video helpful uh, welcome to give a thumbs up and also you can subscribe to draw for new, more graphical abstract tutorials I look forward to seeing you in the next one